challenges in improving agricultural products, studying rate of population growth and food production. Welcome to the present session. In our earlier classes, we have learned that we need different varieties of food. Did you know how much grain is needed to your family per year? Or how much grain is needed to consume for one month? Most of us answer no. Because we are all interested at different varieties of food cooked by mother at home, but not about other things. Well, here we give you a rough idea how much average grains are needed to a family. A family with average of four members needs an average 50 kgs of grain per month. If for one year, they need approximately 600 kgs per year. Now, we have an interesting question for you here. Can you guess how much land is required to produce average quantity of grains required for one family? Okay, we will help you out. An average of 1.4 square kilometers of land is required to produce about set quantity of grains. Now we hope you can guess how much area of land is required to produce quantity of grains needed for your family for one year. Suppose if members of family increase Proportionately, food requirement also increases. If food production less than the requirement, then it leads to food crisis. We all know every year an average increase of population is noticed in our country. Then, do the food production is able to meet the requirement of the population? To meet the requirements rate of food production should increase proportionately to population growth. Do you think it is happening? Now, let us find this with the help of tabulated data of populated growth and production of food grain. Rate of growth of population and food grain production. Decade. Population growth, PG. Food grain production, FP. Ratio, FP per PG. Food grain production per population growth. From the year 1961 to 1971, population growth, 2.4. Food grain production, 2.83. Ratio, 1.18 1971 to 1981 population growth 2.23 food grain production 1.8 ratio 0 0.80 1981 to 1991 population growth 2.16 food grain production 3.13 Ratio 1.45 to 2001 Population growth 1.95 Food grain production FP 1.1 Ratio 0 0.56 2001 to 2011 Population growth 1.65 Food grain production 1.03 Ratio 0 0.62 From the above tabulated data we can understand rate of food grain production is less compared to the rate of population. In the year 1991 to 2001 we can understand the rate of food production is nearly half as compared to population. We already learned that if food production doesn't meet the requirement, it results in food crisis. So, 
it is really a challenge to compensate the food production to increase in population. However, our farmers are trying their best to give good production after all odds. Let us learn some other interesting things about this in our next session.